Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Intuitive and Visions 1111. I am here to do your love horoscope for the month of December 2019. Although these uh, readings are meant to be timeless so if you happen to get this at a different time and it resonates with you then that means it was meant for you to see. Okay or here. <laughs> I just say see in here. Sorry cards are already popping out. Okay, so I'm going to get an energy surrounding your reading um, from the Psychic Tarot cards, the Lover's Oracle. Um, I'm also going to be using the Romance uh, Angels cards and um, Mystic Moon uh, Twin Flame uh, Oracles, uh, Universal Weight Tarot, and uh, Gilded Tarot. Okay, since this is general, it's not going to resonate with um, everyone out there, every Capricorn. Um, I do offer personal reading, so if you're interested in booking a personal reading, that information is below in the description, as well as other information to my Instagram account. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel with donation, that information is there as well. I much appreciate it. Okay. All right. So when I refer to divine masculine or divine feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a divine masculine, be a female. Um, or vice versa, just take it how it resonates. I also use terms like you, he, she, they, that, this person. That could be you I'm talking about or the person um, that you're thinking about or someone close in the equation. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, pull these uh, energies. And uh, first is positive movement forward. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is about... Um, this is Eight of Pentacles. I have to make sure because <laughs> um, I haven't used these cards in a while. Sorry. Um, yeah, this is the Pentacles uh, energy. So this is a uh, positive movement forward, but this is also about um, putting in that the effort. Pretty sure this is. Um, <laughs> I'm just uh, drawing a blank for a second. Pretty sure it's the Eight of Pentacles. Let me look at my other cards just for a second. Make sure that's the Pentacle energy. Yes. Okay. That is the pinnacle energy. So that is about putting the extra effort to the work. Um, and I take into account the positive uh, movement forward. So there's an energy around you of, you know, positive uh, movement forward. And then let's see what we got here. We have passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So there is a passion of fire. Um, this could be creatively, this could be uh, sexually, that you're starting to feel um, this passionate energy and you're possibly wanting to move forward in that energy, take action, put in the effort towards it, uh, which means that maybe you are not currently experiencing that. Um, so we're going to see what the current situation is or status between you and the person you're thinking about in this connection, Capricorn. And you have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so you might be feeling that this person that you want to move forward with is your your twin flame, because that with this could be this uh, one. There's not a um, there's only a soulmate card in this romance, the romance angels deck. So this is more like a twin flame um, energy card. So you might be seeing this person um, as the one, the one that you're wanting to move uh, forward with. Okay, so let me get another uh, card in this situation or status between you and the person you're thinking about, your soulmate or twin flame, pride and ego. So the factor um, that's happening between the two of you guys is there's a pride and ego. So this could be you, Capricorn, that's in this pride and ego situation. Maybe you're wanting to change it or it could be the person that you're thinking about um, has a pride and ego situation that of the reason why you guys might not be in connection at the moment i don't know why i got like so antsy all of a sudden my energy level was just like amped up my voice and my body i can feel it a surge strength okay so this could involve a leo again uh there's an infinity symbol there so this could like i said involve i feel that it, this involves a twin flame because you have a, a number eight there as well um, just with these few cards, I feel this involves a twin uh, flame connection. There's um, strength needed here. 
Um, again, I said this could involve a, a, a Leo, but this is about courage. And this is also a fire energy. This So this is about passion as well. So you might be, you or the person is thinking about taking action towards their um, ego, having needing to have that courage to get past that um, uh, pride and ego factor. Okay, I'm going to get one more card. Tower. Okay, yeah, so there is a tower moment that happened between you. Um, this could have been a tower you caused or they caused, but there was some kind of tower moment that happened that caused a destruction of this connection. And I'm feeling that pride and ego was a factor uh, in this connection, and that's what causes distance. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more information. So who or what is coming towards you? Okay. Who or what is coming towards you in love? Who is this person or what is it? Nostalgia. This is somebody from the past. Someone that you have very fond memories with. Um, someone I feel doesn't want to let you go um, as well. Someone that you're fond of as well is what I'm picking up. Get another card. Why is nostalgia here? Page of Wands. Uh, they could be a fire sign. Um, this could be uh, an age difference, someone younger than you, or you're. Um, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> someone younger or older. There could be an age difference, but there is um, the Page of Wands is about um, action, it's also about news, some good news. So you possibly could be um, the person that's coming in could be waiting to hear some news from you. So I feel like there's a connection uh, with the past of what's uh, coming in. Again, these energies could be flipped. And then um, let me see what else I want to know. So how do they currently see you, this person? How do they currently see you? separation um this also could be heartbreak because this heart here um is uh separated is broken um so they could see you as possibly in a separation or needing to separate from something or you guys are in um separation so that could be the the energy there just gonna push this up a little bit Why is the separation here for how Capricorn's person sees them? Ace of Pentacles. So this is about an offer. Um, this is about a new beginning. This could be a work uh, situation involved too. They, they could see you as um, separating yourself from a relationship, either you that you're already in or that you're separating yourself from making an offer at this time. Um, that's what I'm picking up at this at this moment. That there's there's some kind of a energy here of not offering something, separating yourself from that. Okay. So, how are you currently seeing them? I use this card. You have the Two of Wands, which is about needing to make a decision, um, being at a crossroads. Um, this also could be about a uh, partnership. So let me see why this is here. Why is the Two of Wands here? A lot of fire energy. So either you could have fire in your chart or they. So. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So let's see why the two of wands is here. Soulmate. Okay, so you see them as um, 
your soulmate, which um, some of you, um, this could be, like I said, this could be your twin flame. Uh, and this also could be um, you seeing them needing to make a decision as well, possibly, about a soulmate. Because there could be a soulmate and a twin flame involved in this connection. So there could be other uh, factors, other outside factors influencing this. With this uh, separation card here. Along with the tower and the strength. So yeah, there there is a an energy here that I'm seeing that possibly of possibly another uh, person in here. All right. So what do they um, what do they currently want from you, uh, Capricorn? Free will. Okay. So they're wanting freedom. Some type of freedom energy. Okay, let me see what this is here. Why is the freedom here? Or free will here? Tower. Okay, so there's two tower situations here involved. So someone is um, wanting to, either you or the person that you are thinking about is... Either you're wanting to be free or they're wanting you to be free from a situation. I feel involves another party. Okay. A soulmate in a twin flame. I feel that there is the person that you're really wanting to go to is wanting you to separate from a situation that you might be currently involved in. And they are possibly waiting for some news from you. Are you waiting for them? But there's a currently, um, there's some tower that you're going through. This could involve a separation uh, with um, a possible soulmate or partner that you've been involved here. But someone is, I'm feeling, wanting to offer this separation. Okay, there's an offer you or the person is wanting to offer separation. There's a, because um, two people are falling out of this tower here and there's one there. Okay, and one in that, one person in that tower. So I feel like there was some shakeup with the person that you really wanted to be with. And then the other situation that you might be in involves another person, a relationship that you might be needing to uh, free yourself from. Okay. So what action or outcome are they going to take towards you? I'm going to get this uh, romance angel card. What action or outcome are they going to take towards you, Capricorn? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So someone is wanting to make the effort. They're wanting to fix this. Let me get some more cards for this. Refocus. So there's a refocus on making the effort. So they could be taking a look like, do they want to make the effort or do they not want to make the effort? That's kind of what I'm getting now because there's a... A refocus on this okay so let's get another card for make the effort and refocus and we have the six of Pentacles which is about balance so they are wanting to make some kind of an effort um, equal give and take maybe they weren't given um, before I feel like possibly you're maybe not be feeling this energy but they're wanting to refocus they're wanting to balance out this situation um, that could involve the uh, soulmate. So what are you wanting? What is the action or outcome you're going to take towards this connection that you um, are involved in possibly with a soulmate? Let me, uh, I'm going to get a romance angel. I'm trying to make these readings quick. Religious factors. Your love life is me is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so this could be like i said involving possibly a marriage or just a systemized way of believing um for some of you this could involve a spiritual connection with the person that you're wanting to be with so let me see why this is here for what you're wanting with this person 
king of wands again more fire energy you're wanting them to take action and uh this because this is about taking action this is about being warm this is about being honest this is about being creative um this is about passion i'm gonna get another card for this so i'm feeling like you're wanting to go towards something that you're uh passionate about but there might be some conflict from the way that you were brought up stuck yeah so there's a stuck energy here uh, feeling somebody is possibly stuck in a situation they're wanting to be free from uh, I'm feeling that it's you Capricorn that's possibly wanting to be free from a situation it could be the fire sign that um, Leo Sagittarius or Aries is wanting to be free but I'm feeling like there is a situation um, where you're wanting to go towards uh, leave one situation to go to another with these towers here and separation. I'm just going to get one more card and that's going to be it for the reading. Capricorn. Yeah, five of swords. So there's some kind of a battle going, uh, going on here that you're dealing with that causes tower fighting. You could be fighting to get your freedom. Um, but there's some damage, but this is about um, a victory too over a fighting. So you are fighting or you and somebody are engaged in a fight to try to free yourself towards um, something um, maybe involving a long-term commitment or marriage, okay? And you're wanting to go towards your passion. That's what I'm picking up for you guys, okay? So I'm going to look at the bottom cards real quick, see if there's any more information yeah you're wanting to go towards your true love uh capricorn that's what i'm getting um is being hidden you're wanting to be single or somebody is wanting to be single and, and there you are the king of pinnacles so you possibly are wanting to go towards um either you're wanting to go towards uh, another earth sign that's uh, independent uh, happy successful or you're wanting to be a, a single, you're hiding um, this energy, or this is what's being hidden, that you're having to keep this uh, hidden, this true love that you really are uh, wanting to go towards, is what I'm feeling, because you have this romance here, Cupid arrow strikes, and then you have memories of love, which is the Six of Cups. This is about returning. So either you are wanting to return, or someone is wanting to return, but there is a passion and that is going to move forward. I feel like you're going to move forward towards your uh, true love, your uh, twin flame and leave a soulmate connection. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. And I hope that resonated with you. Um, if it did, please like, comment or share. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. That information is below in the description. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, Capricorn, wherever you are, uh, whatever it is. Um, and until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.